The uh, uh, international security response is not very effective. Uh, there is still uh, ongoing uh, violence and daily violence in uh, Bangui, so uh, the international forces are, are, haven't, have not been able to uh, restore uh, completely security in the capital city, and they are too few actually to control the main uh, provincial cities. When it comes to the European Union, I think the maximum will be 1,000 uh, troops uh, who will actually focus on the capital city. Uh, when it comes to the United Nations, uh, they talk about uh, 10,000, something between uh, 8 to uh, 10,000 troops uh, to be sent to Central Africa Republic. This country is basically the size of France and Belgium combined, so uh, uh, 20, 15 or 20,000 troops uh, will not uh, unable to uh, secure the country. But I don't think the point is to secure the country, the point is to secure some hotspots uh, in Central Africa Republic. For the time being, the international community is on an emergency mode uh, when it comes to the Central African crisis. So there is a, a humanitarian and a military response. But what is really lacking is a, a joint stabilization strategy uh, elaborated uh, by the UN, by the African Union, by the European Union and by France, who are the main player in this crisis. They should actually uh, articulate a stabilization strategy for this country and not only uh, mobilize uh, to send more, more troops. It will be uh, very important to put uh, right and center of the strategy the, uh, the reconstruction of the economy in Central Africa Republic. One of the main drivers of this crisis is a complete collapse uh, over the last uh, 20 years of, uh, of the economy in car. Uh, this is one of the poorest uh, countries in Africa with the worst social and economic indicators and this has really played a major role in this crisis.